taught me about the media, how they can make you look the day Easy e died that night. And I talk about that in my book, too, because it was a whole thing that happened that night, man. It was really intense, man. After he passed away, it wasn't just over after that. There was some more to it after that. There was like a ripple effect of shit that happened. And it got it got really fucked up. And, and, and it's, it's, it's just, it, like I said, in the book, I go into detail about who backstabbed him. You know, how motherfuckers did, did him dirty after he, the, the, the night he passed, yo. The night he passed, motherfuckers were doing him dirty. Except me and Tony G, we were not doing him dirty. And rest in peace to Toker. Rest in peace to Toker, yo, from Brownside. Because he wasn't doing him dirty either. You know what I'm saying? He, he came to do some... Toker came and got me to go see his parents. He picked me up to go see his parents in Compton the night Easy e died, dog. That was a whole, a whole trip. He died at like 6 o'clock at night. I went to see his parents like 11 o'clock at night in Compton, man. Right off of Greenleaf. His parents still live there, dog. And and it was it was a real it was a real I'm, like I said in the book, I really get into detail about the conversation that I had with his dad, and what was going on with his the whole situation went easy, man. So it wasn't like he just passed away and things was all lovey lovey dovey. Nah, it was a whole ripple effect that happened, and and it was a lot of people involved, and it was just real. It was some shady motherfuckers, man. It was just some shady motherfucking people that, you know, that's how people do, man. You know what I mean? But like I said, I get I'll get into it in the book one day, man. I mean when I put that out. Yeah, rest in peace to Toker, man. That's another good dude I used to fuck with. I know, they, they were clowning easy when he passed away to black media and they were now they all love him and shit.